Okay, so we're asked to find an uh, estimate for the interquartile range. And the interquartile range is the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. And to find the upper and lower quartile, we go find out what the graph goes up to, which is 20. We halve it, okay, and that's what you'd normally find uh, used to find the median. Then we halve it again, and that will give you the lower quartile. And then we add the medium and lower quartile one together. So that would be 15. And that gets us the upper quartile. Now, 15 and 5 aren't the upper and lower quartile. They're just what we use to find them. So what I'm going to do is draw a line across from the 5 and a line down. Should be about here. And I'm going to do the same for the upper quartile. So a line across. About there. Okay, so that looks about, well, let's have a look, so that's 30 there, so 32, 4, 6, 37, I would say, and I think, I think this line here probably could have been about here, which looks about 21 to me. So our upper quartile is 37 and our lower quartile is 21, and they'll always be quite forgiving. Um, on the exam, so they'll let you have um, like one off, uh, then it's normally a bit of a range. So for my one, it's 16. Now it's really important that you show exactly what I've just shown on my diagram in your exam because if you are slightly off and you've shown it on your diagram, then you're more likely to get the marks or at least some working out marks.